Michigan brings an extra man. They get home, but Blau gets it off, and it's tipped and incomplete. Three games for this offense. Start out of the shadow with their own goal post and get a seam for Karan Higdon. On first and ten, they go to the trip playback. David Blau trying to get away from Bush, but can't. Michigan had this one snuffed out with Chase Winovich finishing him off. Well, for the running back, as he hands off the football, you can see when Warship pitches it back, Devin Bush has him in man-to-man -man coverage. O'Korn's first pass play lets it fly right on target for a first down. Second down and short. Higdon again with a nice cutback for a first down. From the 47, Chris Evans takes the fake, and O'Korn hits Poggi out of the backfield. The fullback lowers his shoulder with a first down to the 41. An injury. He lets it go against the Blitz and has the tight end Sean McCune for a first down. Up to the 29. At Perry, defended by Oconia. They throw the out route. McCune has a first down. Play action. O'Korn a deep drop. Hits the crossing tight end. Zach Gentry to the end zone. He's in. Touchdown, Michigan. Set up. So you're going to see number 83 work all the way across the field, and you get guys essentially running a rub route for him. That's why he was so wide open. The former quarterback turned tight end. So able to get some separation and get it in the end zone. They're down 25, and a screen is absolutely blown up. Devin Bush having another fantastic game. So smart. I mean, just watch the way he's able to identify exactly what Purdue's doing. Now, this is a tendency for them. Third and long, clearly they like the wide receiver screens, and it hurt them in the previous drive. Through the formation, looking for their first third down conversion of the day. Sindelar put it on the deck and got it back. So it remains a three-point game. They run a draw to Chris Evans, who has some room. And Evans ushered out of bounds at the 37. Extends the play. Uh-oh, look out. Able to get rid of it. Finding Evans. He's able to turn the corner, but surrounded by Purdue bodies. With a play action pass. O'Korn hits the crosser. It's a first down for Nate Shanley. The walk-on with his second catch of the day. And at the hot hand, I would say Simlaw would be the guy. A trick play to begin the second half. Anthrop wants to throw instead. We'll live to see another day. We bring in his third season now. Play action and a free rusher. Bush putting his imprint all over this game. You look at his versatility. Watch when he reacts to this run. Right there in the middle of the defense. They've always got some type of pressure they like bringing. You can see them bring Noah Furbush across, and really that allows. Devin Bush, a clear lane to Sindelar. Goes down and long. A corn to throw again, and it's a crosser that's open again. Zach Gentry reaches close to the 20s. Let's we'll see if they try to set up a matchup inside. Pressure coming. O'Corn in trouble. Stays on his feet. Tries to extend the play. A man comes free for a first down. John O'Corn with a big play to get Grant Perry the ball extend the drive. Don O'Korn somehow manages to get out of Jawan Bentley's grasp and ends up keeping his eyes downfield after you see him kind of pirouette, spin around, keep his balance. Look how he tucked the football and he got it back out to find Grant Perry. And this has kind of been the story of the Purdue defense when they came into this game with only one sack. <laughs> O'Korn has time. It's McCune for a first down into Purdue territory. Again, I see him right on the left side of the screen. That's number 41, Thieneman, matched up. Once he breaks across, gets a little bit of daylight, Thieneman loses his footing. Accurate football by John O'Corn. Looked like he was going there the entire way. The issue all year. They toss it to Evans. He bursts downhill for the touchdown. And Michigan jumps back in front. Actually, a flash block by the tight end. Watch McEwen. When he comes across, these guys flow as well, and it creates this gaping hole on the right side. Soft, soft toss pitch, and Evans takes the rest of the way. 
Big Isaac Zico in motion, and it's fumble. Sindelar able to hang on to it, but this game in this quarter. First and another three and out, getting the ball to the offense at the 35. Well, Corn steps away from pressure. Throws on the move to Grant Perry. First down into Purdue territory. What Corn has done in stepping up in the pocket and buying more time with his legs, then really keeping his eyes downfield. You can see him just waiting for Grant Perry to get across the field once he found some room. And look at the eyes. Accurate football allows Grant Perry to catch and run for the big game. Corn to throw into a tight window. It's McCune and a first down for the Wolverines inside the 20. If catches on the day, he's going to work and find a little soft spot right there in the zone coverage of the Purdue defense. And what a tight window. The confidence, the moxie of John O'Corn, the backup quarterback coming in, slinging it now. All, all vulnerable on the back end. His back foot, floating one. What an adjustment for the catch by Zach Gentry. Against the run, and what about this catch by Gentry? The body control to be able to catch the ball on the back shoulder, play in the backfield. Back to the ground, and in for the touchdown. Isaac puts Michigan in front by two scores here in the fourth. Had the number wrong on the call. That's lack of a reaction from the Michigan sideline. A corn in the boot, slips a tackler, and another lowers the shoulder right to the first down marker. Now look at the effort and determination. John O'Corn, as he cuts it back inside, just shoves off Bailey and pushes downfield and then lowers the shoulder. And that's his throwing shoulder. Yeah. Evans has a hole and stays on his feet and explodes. Chris Evans to the house. Touchdown, Michigan. To break it open with 6.46 left. Well, this is just the power running game you like to see. TJ Jolla is going to have the one shot at it, but watch once Evans gets through the line of scrimmage. Away new, hoping to kind of clear it out, but once Jalo misses, there's nothing but green grass. Oh, three score game, 6.46 to go. David Blount stays in a quarterback and is ripped down by Chase Winovich. Third down, and Blouse set. Purdue with an offer on third down today. Chase Winovich gets home with a fifth Michigan sack. Sit in the pocket. You see Winovich coming off the left side of your screen, working on Grant Hermans. He's playing banged up. But Carlson and Jeff Samarja. Terry Wright on his sweep, loses the football, and Michigan's got it. Right. All but sealed the deal in this one with two and a half to go. Noah Furbush falls on it. By Peru, they couldn't afford to make this versus a more talented team. And you're going to see as Terry Wright starts to kind of turn up field. And Jim Harbaugh's team is off to a 4-0 start. Coming in here to West Lafayette after trailing at halftime, dominating the second half, outscoring Purdue 21-0.